So obviously winning the gold again after Tokyo um, was very, very special. Having two, two, two guys on the team to do their, you know, their pit for us in the, in the morning heat was, was fantastic. But obviously creating history, part of that, of myself and the final four boys in the evening. Obviously no other team from that before to have the same quartet win again. Um, but yeah, very, very excited for us. And I think having that crowd there again was very, very special. Obviously the last time of the games there was no one there. So it definitely felt a bit different this year, having our family and friends in the crowd and to kind of be on the podium, win, and then give them all hugs and kisses after the race was very, very special. It's a full, you know, six, six by two. You know, we, we couldn't have done it without, you know, Kieran and Jack. You know, they, they might not quite get the, the limelight, you know, with not being in the final team, but we, we do really need that. You know, it's a really long schedule, nine day competition. So we need to be able to sub people in, sub people out. And, you know, I think we're really fortunate that we've got that depth um, as part of the British swim team in this event. So we're able to do that. I think one of the emotions is probably relief. And, you know, we, we knew we had a really good team, but you know, it's just about going out there and delivering it. But um, you know, I think everyone executed the race really well. You know, in a final when it matters, you know, being able to, to stick to our race plan and deliver, I think you know, I think we did it did it to perfection. We've all been in that situation before. We've been in those finals. Um, we've had those those opportunities to get into those races and put ourselves up against the best. You know, in in different occasions, and I think you know. It's always a privilege to be able to do that. Um, it's what we all do it for, to be at this level and to be able to, to have those opportunities. Um, you know, and so I think, especially in the relays, it's quite fun. You know, we're all, we're all in the call and we're all good friends and it's just nice to be able to get in there with a great team, a great bunch of lads and just, you know, enjoy what we do. You know, I think it'd be worth it regardless of the result because we're all at an Olympic Games and representing our country and, and that's the most exciting thing. But when you have something physical in a gold medal to kind of represent, you know, the full culmination of all those years of work, I think that's that's really quite special as well and something you can you know see and take home with you and, and, and hold and show to your family I think that's that is quite special but you know it's never a sacrifice because I'm, I'm, I'm you know I can't speak for the other boys but I'm sure they'd agree that we all love what we do and we love being able to be full-time athletes we all were in Tokyo this one's a lot different um, friends and family were in the stands for this one so you know I was really fortunate that my mum and dad uh, we're able to see my heat swim and my individual swim. You know, just really grateful and really lucky to be back to normal. Yeah, I think for me, I've only been on it for two years, but I can already see the advantages it's given me for my performance and training. And obviously, for these guys, you know, it's helped them come up um, through you know the younger stages of, of their training um, up to where they've got up to now. Um, and yeah, we couldn't have done it without the lottery's uh, help uh, throughout this uh, time of, in our careers. You know, I remember getting funding for the first time when I was probably 15 um, and having that come to me and then I'd go and buy a new race suit for accomplishing it in the summer. It's just like, it just helps so much more to have that support. So, yeah, very, very obviously fortunate to have that and you know, thank you for the National Lottery for supporting us. It's not just the funding in individually, you know, it's, it's more than that. Without the National Lottery's support for the sport as a whole, we wouldn't have the coaches, the facilities, the travel arrangements. We wouldn't be able to go and compete around the world, um, you know, and so... It's more than just the money we get personally, um, you know, and that helps massively. And it, you know, it helps us individually do what we need to do. But without the national lottery's funding to the sport as a whole, um, you know, British swimming wouldn't be in the place it is right now. We're in, we're in the best place that it's been ever, really. You know, it's one of the best games we've ever had. Um, you know, and I think we've got we've got a lot of potential for the future. And, and none of that would have been possible without the continued support of the national lottery and its players.